kill him. I haven't seen you for ages. What are you doing over here? It's a beautiful country, always great for a car launch. And we're here to test the new Ford Echo Sport. Basically, it's a Fiesta on stilts. So let's see what it drives like. This isn't the all new Ford Ecosport. It's new. It's and there just is new. There is a very clear sort of difference there, isn't there? Because the all new is obviously a car model that's never been out before. And new is. No, I think they no, say hang on. All, all new is if it's completely all new. No, I thought all new was if they changed about 70% of the parts. So Do you think we're overthinking this? Yeah. This is all new. What, the button? This beautiful new sound system. None of them are particularly quick. Uh, you know, they're all 0 to 60 in around 13 to 14 seconds. 0 to 60 or 0 to 62? 0 to 62, if you want to be a bit pedantic. It's quite plush inside, though, but, it, you know, it is the sort of car you could keep clean easily. I think black plastics are fine in that they wipe off so quick and yeah, easy. Yeah, but you know what, I like to put my elbow in here you and it just, it hurts. That's not that bad. It's got someone a bit of give other, in it. Someone the other day told me I had dry elbows. You had taxi driver's elbows. Yeah. What do you think of the new sound system, well, Tim? I'm quite blown away by it. There's a bit of metallic in here. I know, that sounded really, really, really... And I'm not even a Metallica fan. To be fair, have I got you to like Metallica through the Echo Sports audio yeah, system? Yeah, it's like the bass is really doing my head in. It's amazing, isn't it? It's certainly got a nice thump to it. That's it. So, all in all, if you're going to buy an Echo Sport, you should buy the sound system first, and then the car. Uh, yeah, I mean, you know, the audio system, it's a deal breaker and I think, you know, I'd say yes to it just purely for this. Yeah. Have a sort of glance around the connectivity of that. What do you reckon? It's yeah, like it's good, you know, it's the usual touch screen. Sync 3, Sync 3? You no, know, all I can tell you is this, it reacts like an iPad. Um, even on these corners? Yeah, even on the corners. God, I'm blinded <laughs> by the sun though. I think they're quite a good looking car. What's happened Turn to the sat nav, Tim? Who needs a sat nav when you're following somebody else that's lost? You know, this is basically a, a, a Fiesta. Well, it is. I don't know why it feels smaller than a Fiesta, width-wise. I mean, why would you imagine they have sold well? Is it because of the SUV market being more Yeah, popular? I think yeah. so. Don't you? And it's also people do like Take to the be third exit now. up a bit higher. It's that well, if, you, if you can get intelligent... Command driving position. Intelligent all-wheel drive as well. That's just that extra bit of peace of mind isn't it in the bad weather this time yeah. of year winter we're not far from lisbon and we're heading to esteril the or Cas Cascay? Cascay. Cascay, i think you pronounce it it's got a sliding armrest look at that yeah always useful always nice to have a sliding armrest because if you've got a long elbow the uh, roof's got that kind of waffle texture They've got some fantastic colour combinations now. They really are in a nice set of colours. <laughs> Tiger's Eye Orange with black. I don't know what this blue's called, but I do. I'm a mm. bit partial to blue. Yeah, colors. I think the blue works really well with it. The way the rear door, rear boot opens. Um, well, practically speaking, it's not quite as useful, is it? If you're in a car park, I guess, you know, when you're lifting up the hatch, it could sideways sideways but not many people like to parallel park these days do they so that's the sort of thing behind it <laughs> I, mean, I suppose there's plenty of people that have banged their heads on tailgates when they've lifted up i banged my head on the range rover sport three times in a week did you and i thought that was really annoying because that opens that opens that way like that yeah yeah <laughs>
<laughs> so are we for or against the tailgate on this thing going I don't that think way? it's an issue personally no. I think you know once you buy a car with a with a rear door that opens like that you know it's there you just park somewhere where you know it's I'll tell you what it's a lot better if you're parking in the garage if you think it's an issue why don't you get in touch with us but at the same time press that subscribe button <laughs> we certainly are getting this wound up a bit now along some of these coastal roads but once you get it up to speed nice torquey engine the diesel and uh, it runs along nicely but you're not going to be overtaking in it well it says much. Hold on. This is when you pray it's gone off. This is when you pray when you're out there on the other side. Hold on, hold on. So this all-wheel drive is quite good on these windy Portuguese roads. Well, these little Perfect. ribbony roads that string their way across the Portuguese countryside are quite challenging for a lot of cars, but I've got to say, I mean, this is a tall car, but with that intelligent all-wheel drive, it really does grip to the bends very well indeed. Yeah, it's hanging on nicely on some of these sharp corners. You're not going to buy a car like this, though, for that kind of driving experience, but it's nice to know it, it comes along with it. I think this is more... You do like to test the speed bumps out. fair. I mean, that soaks it up nicely, yeah. doesn't it? A lot of the Fords though, you know, remember on Fiesta we were just so impressed with the uh, suspension. We were, we? Well I've really enjoyed this one this morning, apart uh -huh. from I would would say I like, also like the all-wheel drive but you can only get that on diesel. So this has got a really quite a nice flexible six-speed petrol engine. Well, this three-pot engine's got that usual little kind of thrum sound. Thrumming sound. Thrum. It's a funny expression. Thrum. It thrums along nicely. What does the thrum one. mean? And it's the award-winning EcoBoost engine in three different flavours. One litre, all one litre, but with 100 PS, 125 PS and 140 PS. Yeah, but would you have this or would you have the diesel 4x4? Four four? With the intelligent. The intelligent all -wheel drive. All -wheel drive. It's quite smooth though, isn't it? Yeah, I didn't want you to drive too much. I've had you, on this. you made me feel sick yesterday, <laughs> so I thought you'd have a, just a small drive today. Whoa! You know there's a corner there. Nice place. It's more fun than the one yesterday, isn't it? It is. It's just yeah, right, more perky. It's, this is the peachy one. No. Oh, and it does have grab handles, which I'm finding are quite useful today. This First gear is almost really redundant really. in this, isn't it? You know, this engine has been proven now for so many years, so. It, you know, you can't win engine of the year for about seven years if, it, if it's going to... Has it really been that long? Yeah, which is quite incredible, really. You know, look how many one-litre engines we do now have. Can you read me the um, details of this no, car? No, because I feel sick. Will that make you feel even more sick? I'll have a look in a second when I can look down. Right, this is the, as we've already said, 140 PS Ford EcoSport petrol. Front wheel drive, six speed manual transmission, two tone exterior, which is absolute black with this really quite nice orange called Tiger Eye. On the roof. Is this the ST line? Yeah, this is the ST line again, ST line series, and this has got Sync 3 multimedia with sat nav, 8 inch touchscreen display and voice control. Blind spot information system, which I like. Cruise control with Make adjustable like speed limiter. Now. Rear view camera. Front and rear parking distance sensors. Keyless entry and start. Automatic headlamps with rain sensing wipers. B&O Play. Premium sound system. Ten speakers with an absolutely whopping 675 watts for whopping. the Oops. headlamps with LED running lights, quick clear heated windscreen, which I, I really like that on Ford. Very useful it's the, the one of the best it? things when you get in the cold car, the screen just clears in a second. Heated steering wheel, heated front seats, Ford Auto Start Stop, 17 inch alloys, right. this has got the quite nice alloys on it, Turn this right car. Now and then keep right. oh, and, um, yeah, right we then. should have gone right there, probably would have been a good idea. Got ESC. 
know. CO2 emissions of uh, on this one was 119. Right. We're supposed to go down there. Maybe we can make no, it down this no, way. No, don't, don't try it. Well, I think we can get round. I saw it in a cartoon. Can you slow down a little bit? Yeah. That's the first bit of squeal we've had. It's sort of grips, doesn't it? It's not far now. Only 750 until we're there. <coughs> Get a nice bus street cross on or something. <laughs> Come on, Tim. Yeah. You're just okay. driving alone? No, no, I'm waiting for him. Oh, He's good. probably tweeting or something. Oi, seat belts. Oh, yeah. So oh, let's see how the 140 PS goes this morning because this should have just that little bit more power. Is this actually a road? Aren't these roads based on riverbeds or something? Uh, feels a bit like a riverbed. Oh, that smells nice. That tree. Eucalyptus. Is that what it was? Is that you? <laughs> you haven't you? This stinks through here. It smells like sort of it's, off popcorn. I think it's the clutch. Well, that was you. <laughs> no, it's definitely the clutch. Who I'll tell you what it might be is that cat smell you get. Cat? Catalytic converter, not cat. Maybe we've got a cat in the engine bay. Yeah, always hooning around these bends. <laughs> You're recording <laughs> me being asleep. Do that again. <laughs> call this side hatch or I suppose side hatch is better than a backside yeah it goes all the way to there hold on let's just get that color Look at that. tiger's eye orange that is a nice color and that is a really I nice like blue, blue. It works well as well. The bit that probably bothers me is just this little area here that could get it could easily get scratched couldn't it do you know I'm very impressed with this one liter yeah, 140 PS more than I was the diesel uh, 125 PS with intelligent all-wheel drive. This to me was just utter fun, snaking it around those little yeah, routes, yeah. you know. Yeah, yeah. I just would like to also see it with all-wheel drive. Yeah, I think so, but you know, maybe it's just a bit more fun, just feeling on the edge and making it grip yourself, which we were doing, weren't we, around some of those little hairpin bends, just Definitely. out of Cascais and around Estoril. Yeah. No, I really like it, and actually the colour for this. That tiger's eye orange roof and that black uh, main body exterior. I just love it. Yeah, it works really, really nice well. little car. I yeah. think, uh, don't know how much this is going to be yet. The price isn't quite out as we... 21 and a half. Do you think? Yeah. Estimated? Yeah. Okay. Yeah.